songs we used to play And when I put them on The feeling never fades out my body I hope you're thinking of me There won't be a night There won't be a place Where you don't cross my mind Where I don't see your face in somebody Welcome everyone, my name is Faith and this is a new LP. If you're new here, I hope you choose to stay and if you're a returning subscriber, I'm glad you chose to come back. Before I divulge further and start the gameplay, I wanted to explain the name of our Let's Play, Life's Canvas. Just like a blank canvas, our lives are filled with endless possibilities and are shaped by the choices that we make. Each episode that we're going to be going through will be a unique story of life's challenges and also triumphs. And every decision and every relationship, every setback adds to the vibrant strokes of our lives. I'll be playing with four different friends, Jacqueline being one of them. If you have watched the teaser that I posted, then you would know that her friend Maya told her that she saw her husband kissing somebody but Jacqueline doesn't necessarily believe it because believing it would mean that she needs to come to terms with the fact that her life is a lie and it can't be a lie she gave up so much just to have this family her name is Jacqueline Cutler and she is a neat sim she's a maker she's family orientated and she's compassionate her aspiration is to have a happy family Jacqueline has a daughter and her name is Haven. Haven is right here. Oh, where is Haven? Oh my gosh. Look at where the Sims put Haven, guys. Why does the Sims do that? Come get your baby. Oh my word. Yeah, bring inside. Are you? Oh, yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Guys, The Sims is crazy. Seriously. Okay, while Jacqueline is coming to get um, Haven, let me also introduce you to this man right here. This is Jacqueline's husband. He's really handsome. <laughs> He's so handsome. His name is Clay, and Clay loves the outdoors. He's self-assured, and he's sexist. So he is the one that makes the money in the house. He is a computer engineer and he is indifferent to being romantically exclusive, which is strange because hello, sir, you're married right now. He's at home and he hasn't gone to work. We will meet their daughter Haven when they come back upstairs with her because I don't understand how she's outside like that. Clay, can you put away the laundry? He doesn't believe that it's his job, so he thinks all of that is Jacqueline's. What do you mean you can't do it? It's literally right in front of you. I just did it. Oh my word. What's this? Incredible takes. Yeah, he's on meet and mingle. And he has a profile on there. And that's where he got that buff from. Um it's it's crazy. Aww, this man doggy. is disgusting. Oh, I want to show you their house. So here is Clay and Jacqueline's room. They have a really, really big house. They live in a penthouse, actually. This is their closet. Imagine this being your closet. This is their closet right here. It's crazy. So Jacqueline, our girl, is living the life according to her. In here is Clay's man cave when he has his friends over. They come in here. And also when he wants to work, he will bring his laptop in here and just not want to be disturbed. And in the next room is Haven's room. Look at how cute. So cute. I love, love the windows so much. I, it took me so long to decorate this place. It's not perfect, but definitely perfect for me in here is their kitchen it's not very big but they're not a big family so um i think it's perfect jacqueline is all about aesthetics and that's why her house looks like this living room how pretty is that 
and they also have their dining room there and they have a bookshop over there and they also have a little bar it's really pretty i'm not gonna lie it's really nice they have a really nice house and clay likes the fact that it's nice even though he didn't even do most of the work it's jacqueline this is their hall and through there is the laundry and also a small um, bathroom for guests and also for haven she's still so young so we will redo it when she's older um oh there you, there you go Oh my gosh, how cute. This is Haven. How cute is Haven? They only have one daughter. Oh. She's such a good mom too. She's a good mom. They only have one daughter. And did you see the rock on her finger? Like Jacqueline's ring is big, big. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have her give. Um, oh, Haven a bath. Uh, good appetite. Oh, good on you, Haven. Okay, let's give her a bath because she was out there. So crazy. She was out there. Oh no. Oh, she's also uncomfortable. Give Harry. Oh, Harry is their dog. Give Haven a bath and this man was not gonna make any food oh look at that he's putting away the food that's something i think that's something good but we're gonna have him he is texting this lady here alice so him and alice met on meet and mingle um see him and jacqueline they are completely okay so jacqueline's a stay-at-home mom and she definitely just is coasting over everything because look at their romance just fine just completely okay what does he have to do for work construct a computer chip okay when does he have work he has work tomorrow oh my gosh first first bath milestone oh haven haven is super super cute we do have to um make sure that she gets tummy time in so i'm gonna have can you oh you can work out on here oh that's so cool um let's put haven over here and her dad could be the one that does tummy time while you take a bath although i think he'll probably complain and be like uh jackie i'm i'm busy that's what he calls her jackie Look instead around. of jacqueline okay good let's do tummy time with oh she, yeah she doesn't like the music oh look at them being cute excuse me sir like yes chat with jacqueline but oh crying infant the world would be oh so much better if the crying would just stop <gasps> This, I think, is from um, Jacqueline still feeling a little bit bad. Even though she's not saying it. She's not saying that I feel terrible and I don't believe you. But she doesn't. Oh, Jackie, um, let's put this away. And I think maybe let's do the laundry. Oh my gosh, Jacqueline. You shouldn't put Haven down. Yeah, your Jack husband Jack, should be the mace. one. <gasps> You're telling her to come and do this? <laughs> this guy. Oh my word. Is she gonna come? She is coming to pick... <gasps> Jacqueline, just... No. Oh Aww. my word. Oh, Haven started moving her head. She's gonna actually go put Jacqueline... Uh, She's gonna go put Haven down. This guy's such a oh well now he wants to go put the laundry away. She's gonna go do it. Oh no, he's I can't believe this man, actually. I really can't. Okay, go take a shower. Actually, 
Just drink water. No. <laughs> oh my word. And take a shower. What is he gonna go do? He's gonna go watch TV in his man cave. Wow. Introducing Alex Rodriguez. Alex is a creative, she's warm hearted, and she is an art lover. Oh my gosh, and not a very good cook. <laughs> Alex is a master of the real, and her aspiration is to become a painter extraordinaire. She wants to become and be the best of the best. She wants to be the one that sells the most paintings and has the most exhibitions. Right now, she's just really popular in her school that she is actually mentoring in. She's not teaching, she's just mentoring. And she has classes at the art center every once a week. So those are the things that she right now does. She is just cooking dinner right now. Oh, that looks so good. So, so good. Oh uh what a rush the boost of adrenaline is making alex feel amazing should she firmly embrace that her oh um okay we can say she likes fashion i mean fitness <laughs> where are you going oh please don't hold on oh no alex you should use the bathroom oh 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 my gosh i'm getting lost in her own apartment yes um i will show you her apartment just now is she using yes oh wow love that okay perfect do you want to oh she's dizzy okay alex while we introduce and show your apartment maybe you could um abstract painting okay so alex's apartment is probably one of my favorites it took me such a long time to decorate but I really really like it like so so much um let's start okay we'll start in here which is her office look at this so this is her office slash paint studio and she has all her paints over there and some of the paintings that she's finished and right here right here she has all her like books art books and also her printer and her computer and then in here is her bedroom <gasps> look at her bedroom this this is beautiful if you haven't noticed her favorite colors are green and orange but this oh my gosh <laughs> look at how pretty that is oh my gosh um okay <laughs> let's go into the hallway this is the hallway not much happening just her wash and dry out all her stuff for her laundry she has her mirror and everything and in here is her bathroom her bathroom is not that big actually um but i think it's okay just for her and let's go into the kitchen the kitchen is so pretty too i love it i love the kitchen she cooked and she didn't eat i should make her eat i love that look at the view from up here this is gorgeous and i also love the living room too okay i love everything about alex's apartment <laughs> i feel like it's more me than all the other ones but this is so nice and cozy i really really like it I think my style in real life is boho chic so my house um, also feels like very boho but not as many pops of color as Alex right now let's get into gameplay with Alex she's so pretty isn't she Alex is so pretty oh she just finished a painting of you a mural oh, okay Oh, she's gonna go to bed? Oh, it's 10. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning when we start a day with Alex. Rise and shine, Alex is awake. 
and the lighting in her room i also love the windows here too i'm so glad sims has allowed us to change windows in a apartment it's awesome okay let she wants to go eat so we're gonna let her go eat some breakfast after she eats i would like her to get ready because she has a class at the gallery um what's this think about family member yeah so they are so close as friends that they think of each other as family members she was just thinking about robin which is somebody we will meet much later so it's quite cute how close they all are they've known each other since they were really really young so of course they consider each other family i think that's quite cool oh you should definitely drink some water please and what's this a oh, promotion anxiety from lack of promotion yeah so alex is kind of struggling at work guys so alex oh, alex is kind of struggling at work um she wants to get a promotion and she also wants to hold her own exhibition the problem is nothing that she creates is considered good by other people and when i say other people i mean um the owners of the gallery and also her bosses at work okay um we're gonna get ready alex it's 9 20 you're gonna be late oh my word you should go and take a shower please okay we're gonna take a shower and we're gonna use the bathroom um yeah okay and then we'll be ready she oh my goodness stop stop it <laughs> she looks so good um Oh my gosh, the walls in her apartment though are driving me a little bit crazy. Oh, she actually put it in the laundry. Okay, um, I will see you guys when we get to the art gallery where she will get ready for her class. We made it to the gallery and I just want to show you guys this gorgeous, gorgeous gallery. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Okay, I, I think I've been saying pretty so much my apologies i promise i will <laughs> i will do better okay let's start from the top so this is where she will be having her class how nice that's all they have like up here then you go downstairs you have an area where you can sit over here and then you also have an area where you can just relax have coffee take a break over here they have a performance area it's mostly for students but sometimes when they have galas they have like special performances so that they can raise money for charity and they have them in here the person that built this i will have it in the description of course because i did not do any of this um it is alex's dream to come and have her art basically exhibitioned here basically in her element she had to oh my goodness she had to rush here because she was late and now she also has a proper celebrity in her class the girl she's standing next to guys is the one that clay was texting isn't that crazy yeah this is the girl that she's talking to right now that is basically cheating with her friend's husband that's her if you guys can like go back to when clay was talking to her via text mm -mm -mm. messy 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 Hey, Alex is like, class is dismissed, everybody. Good job today. I think that was such a quick class. She has to go and change her pad. Oh, Maya. We heard there's a carnival in town. A few of us were thinking about going tonight. You want to come with? Oh, she means the girls. Sounds like fun. Yeah, of course. We would love to go. Awesome. See you soon. What time is it? Okay, great. Okay, go use your pad and then we're going to have a chat with the director. Oh, Jacqueline. Hey, Alex. The big game is on tonight. Want to come over and watch? Oh, Jacqueline, I thought we were all going out. Um, Maybe we're going to Jacqueline's now? So let's say yes. Okay. Sounds good. We'll come to... 
We'll come to your house. Oh, Jacqueline again? We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, why do you want to bring a baby into that situation? Your husband... <laughs> Jacqueline is obviously trying to be oblivious to the fact that her family is not probably going to last long. Or maybe she just thinks this could help mend it. Um, so Alex doesn't know anything. She just thinks Jacqueline is in a happy relationship. The only person that really knows is Maya because Maya saw everything. Um, so, so Alex is probably going to say, dude, of course, go ahead. Try for that baby. I want another nephew or niece. And what does she say? Well, all right. I think, yes, we'll do it. Thanks for the advice. We're having a baby. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you just used... Why are you using it again? Okay, this is Mortimer Garth in the save file. And he is the director of this. And Alex is talking to him right now. I have been working really hard and trying to make sure that I get here on time. I'm sorry I was late today. But usually I'm always on time. And I'm showing you the value that I have so would you reward me with just one tiny exhibition it doesn't even need to be open to the general public you can just invite some of the people that you know he's like uh first off you right you were late today and alex did you even brush your teeth because you have something stuck in your teeth Alex is like, oh, um, I, I was in a rush when I was coming to work. And Mortimer's like, well, um, I appreciate that you've done great work here. And I see how much potential you have. But Alex, I cannot invest that much in you yet. If you want to have an exhibition here, it, it's going to cost you 40,000 simoleons for you to actually have the gallery for the night. So... If you're able to do that, then yeah, of course, I will do everything I need to do. I will even do the marketing for you. Well, to be quite honest, the marketing will be an extra 10 to 50,000. If you have 50,000, then yeah, of course, I will do that. But until then, I can't help you. I've already given you a job. If that's all for today, I'm going to go. I, I, uh, Mr. Mortimer, he walked away. What am I going to do? How could I possibly come up with that much money? It's impossible. I can't buy all the supplies that I need and all the canvases I need and then pay him that much money. We have made it to Maya's house. This is Maya Richards. Maya Richards is an overachiever. She's ambitious and she's a genius. She did so well in school that she was a prefect. I don't think there's an equivalent in American schools, I would say. Maybe class president could be it. But yeah, she did really, really well that she won all the awards every single year at school. She is currently in the business career for a small company, but she wants to work for a very big company and she wants to be CEO one day. And her aspirations are nerd brain. Maya is actually the mediator of the group. And that's why she was also the one that didn't feel weird telling Jacqueline about her husband. Not that anyone else knows, but yeah, she just didn't feel strange about it at all. So we're going to spend the day with her and go to work with her. Right now she's going to have some breakfast and I think she's having pizza for breakfast. Um, oh my gosh. I like the realism of this mod, but it also kind of is annoying. So Maya has been living here not so long. This is an apartment that was left to her by her aunt who basically raised her. Maya's parents died when she was young and Maya lived with her aunt. And that's why she worked so hard to make sure that she can get a really good job. 
she's currently thinking of alex which is so cute i told you that they got they all consider each other like family um she has work in a bit but i want to show you her apartment so she's still kind of renovating everything so it's not all done her favorite color is black we'll start right here in her living room it's really really sleek she doesn't want too many things um this is her living room quite big right and spacious she has a really spacious apartment and her kitchen also not too many colors that's just not how maya is she has two bedrooms this is her entryway and she has a bathroom in here this bathroom is for all the guests that come over and she has the laundry in here as well and in the next room This is Maya's bedroom. She just has her bed and also her art over there. And through here is her bathroom. All black, as you can see. Her bathroom is all black. It's really sleek. Her bathroom is nice. It took a while to just uh, clutter everything, but it's really nice. And she has another bedroom. And here is a guest bedroom, which is just down the hall across from where her office will be. Her office actually isn't done at all. She just has boxes in there and hasn't um, started with anything. As you can see, like she still has to do the walls and other stuff, but she has a really great view from out here. It's awesome. Okay, it's six and she will have to start getting getting ready for work so i'm gonna let her eat and when you're done please wash your dish and also get some water oh thanks i'm glad you're washing it <laughs> sometimes sims don't actually do it so it's kind of frustrating oh did she just drop it because i said <laughs> she should drink some water that was not a signal for you to not wash your dish maya Maya is an A-type personality, so she wants to make sure that everything is the way that it should be. When she's done with her glass of water, we're just going to get ready for work. Change into the wrong outfit, Maya. Use... Oh, water again? Oh, while you apply your moisturizer? Oh, uh, okay. You don't need both your hands. You definitely need both your hands because then you're not applying it correctly. Okay, quickly brush your teeth so we can go. We're going to be late. Oh my gosh. And she's going to need to change after as well. Oh my word. Girl. Okay, let's go. I'll see you guys at the office we have arrived um this was made by ocean sims i think yeah it was so this is her tiny office they literally have two floors and at the bottom the first floor is a cafe so they can't necessarily even afford to go to a bigger office and that's why she just wants to go to a different company this is her boss Derek Moody let me just pause really quickly Derek is the owner of the company it is actually a family business he took over after his dad and his dad took over after his dad so it's basically been run by a family this is Celine she's one of the workers this right here is Amelia and this is Jasminder and they are a very very small company as you can see um maya has these weights here so if she feels like she's been sitting for too long she just uses those right now we're gonna get her to um do some work oh no um what was it i think it's web yes research some stocks they have a meeting every tuesday at 10 a.m so we're gonna wait and see 
how the meeting goes. Look at her boss playing games at work. I mean, we get it, you're the boss, but you should also be doing some work. Okay, it's almost time for the meeting, so I'm going to have her stop. The staff meeting is in order, and everyone is like just talking back and forth and listening. Just mind is like, mm, I can't wait for this to be over. He's like, listen, okay, guys, the best way for us to keep going in this company is to work with each other. We need to support one another because we're a small company. So if you see Maya having a hard time, please help Maya. If you see Celine is running behind, maybe try and help Celine, you know? That's what we are here to do. We're each other's backups. We are each other's support systems. And that is the best that we can do. Maya's thinking, I don't want to be anybody's backup. I want everyone to be able to handle themselves because I handle myself. And I don't think it's fair just because one person is slacking that other people have to help them. Yes, this is a small company, but at the end of the day, we all got the job because of our credentials. So I don't necessarily want to basically put my work on somebody else and I don't want them to put their work on me. Celine is kind of looking away because Celine is the one that is always slacking, never on time, and also never finishes her work. Everyone else is not so bad. She could care less about the job because th this is basically a stepping stone for her. And Jasminda, Jasminda is so sweet and so nice that she's just like, oh, um, oh, whose child is that? Oh my gosh, it's probably Celine's child that just came in in the middle of the meeting. This is why Celine is the one that is slacking. And nobody is saying anything. No one's saying anything that Celine brought her child to work and the child is interrupting the meeting. Okay, okay, Maya, I understand. But you know how it is. This company has been running for decades. And the one thing that's kept us going is making sure that we stick together. So let's make sure that we stick together. Can everybody give me feedback on what they've been doing for the whole month? And I will be expecting those emails by the end of today. Okay, the meeting is dismissed. Everyone is going to lunch right now because the meeting ran too long. So Maya is going to speak to Jasminder because that's the person that she is most closest to. She's going to be like, listen, I just, I honestly don't understand why we have to do this. I, um, I really appreciate that you do what you always need to do. You're the only person I can rely on in this company. You're such a smart person. It's always impressive to hear you speak. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I try to approach things from a thoughtful and in, uh, informed perspective. That's so nice. Oh. 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 Maya can't stop laughing. That, jo jo that joke Jasminder just told her was way too good. After being dazzled by the marvelous bit of humor, Maya's thinking about jokes and how and how great they can be for a conversation. Yeah, we can say Maya likes jokes. Let's go get something to drink. Okay, they're gonna get something to drink. She's ordering. Oh my gosh, look who's here. Mortimer Goth. He, remember, he is the director of the art gallery. Should we say hi to him? Let's just give a friendly hello. Such a small city. Maya can tell... Um, Alex about this like hey I saw your boss <gasps> what what he thinks we're pretentious are you joking you are the pretentious one she thinks he's fun to be around he thinks we're pretentious excuse me Mortimer oh my word oh Maya's gonna give Alex a call you will not believe who I just saw in the downstairs cafe of our office. Mortimer, the director of your gallery. Well, the gallery that you work at. And that man is so annoying. How can you work with him, Alex? He did what? Oh, 
Don't worry, we'll find a way to raise those funds for you. Let's have dinner tonight. We're all going to Jacqueline's, right? Okay, I can't wait to see you. She feels better now. Okay, I think we should go up and finish our work and then go home. Our fourth and last girl is Robin Snow. Robin is a romantic, she's an art lover, and she's outgoing. She is in the social media career, and right now she is a meme maker. Her aspiration is to find her soulmate, and Robin here thinks that Jacqueline has the perfect life, the life that she wants and should have. So she secretly wants Jacqueline's life so much, and she also kind of wants Jacqueline's husband, but she's never told anybody. So she goes out on all these dates, kind of ch chasing after what Jacqueline has and she just has no luck whatsoever in finding love because she just goes after the wrong guys and she misses the red flags and just goes off the people that kind of tell her that they are not into her or don't want the same thing as her and because she just never really knows what to do she always just goes and is checking her meat and mingle profiles so that's what she's gonna do now she's gonna be looking at the profiles like oh who is on there? Are there any new people? Um, okay, she is probably gonna take somebody. And oh, this is Akira in the save file. What? He looks so different. I'm gonna choose Joshua. Joshua is an adult. Oh, he probably doesn't have a job because it says did not specify. He has ADHD. He's cowardly. Oh my gosh, a daredevil. I've never been in a long-term relationship, high education, responsible, and sensitive are his turn-ons, brown hair, small breasts, what is that, <laughs> freckles, uh, he doesn't like minimalists and adventurous sims, okay, I prefer exclusive relationships, short fling or love forever, of all forever love, I go with the flow, his tagline, fate has our good, fate has our good in hand, Oh, fate has our good in hand. You are reading this. It must mean something. Does it though? Well, Robin is going to think that because this is one guy that actually wants an exclusive relationship. She's like, I don't care whether he's cowardly or a daredevil. It, it doesn't matter. I'm going to message him. So she's going to go ahead and message him. And then she's going to head home to... Oh, wait. Wait, she was sending him a message right <gasps> guys i totally said i did i said message i did not say they should okay well i guess we're going on a date with robin <laughs> oh okay we made it yeah meet and mingle dates are rather informal so maybe i pressed it by mistake i didn't realize oh let's say hi to joshua not a rude introduction oh my word friendly he's cranky are you joking okay let's see wait what he thinks about us um, maybe he's too short for us oh interesting sim he thinks we're sophisticated oh joshua and we think he's attractive okay should we go and request a table then oh joshua changed look at joshua oh he looks nice oh declare only wanting to become declare only wanting to hook up oh no oh he's talking about the weather we will not say any of those because we don't want any of it uh let's say ponder life's purpose is that too deep Let's discuss personal beliefs because we want to know. Oh, she's already talking about her woohoo. Wait, what is she asking him? Oh, they gossiping. She's gossiping about her. Oh, she's an oversharer. Oh, they gained a sentiment. Let's order for the table. They gained a sentiment. Um, okay, she will have 
this and he will have are we paying for this date joshua you have to pay us back it's a sushi restaurant so ooh, mm, good. okay we will both okay he will have the fish okay excuse me ma'am you're in our way oh she's gonna come oh i thought she is gonna come and take our order is it, she's like mm, i think oh, is he thinking about her boobs excuse me sit robin what's this talk about cool temperature it's like that awkward for first date he's like hey so um i really liked your profile and i'm glad that you picked me as well i was just wondering like what kind of relationship are you looking for i know you said you want a long-term relationship but you know people on dating apps lie and i'm just curious about um what you would like she's like well i want a long-term relationship um are you single because as you said sometimes people lie and i just want to make sure that you are single robin has learned that joshua is single great he's like yeah i'm single that's perfect let's do um yeah oh no share travel stories like i traveled to brindleton bay and it's one of my favorite places to go what would you say is your favorite place to go oh oh he's joking with her oh my gosh it's nine i can't believe that we went on a day just as we started with robin unintentional but it is what it is meaningful conversation oh and our food came so quickly yay reflect on life talk about life aspirations what would you say is the one thing that you would love to do in life she's a very deep person but she doesn't want to basically say she's deep oh she loves the food let's see oh it's normal quality here's two drinks normal quality cool i mean oh they yeah both enjoying their food oh my gosh he finished his drink so quickly he changes his mood so fast he was cranky and then he was inspired and then he was happy he now he's iman imaginative mm, are we gonna be able to handle that is that a good thing It's too much of a change, too quickly, I think. Okay, more, we can do romantic ones now, like get to know what, oh, what makes you happy? She can ask, what makes you happy? And let's see, hey, so I was wondering, what are the things that you would say make you happy in life? And he's like, hmm, well, food makes me happy. And um, I would say my job makes me happy. And the idea of having a family one day also makes me happy. Oh, she liked that. Mm -hmm. He's flirty now, guys. He was confident and then he was flirty. Like, it changes too quick. It's too quick. Oh, where's he going? Is he leaving us? Oh, you're chatting with him. Oh, thank you. This, wow. Did he leave? Please don't do this because in my breaking away <laughs> let's play, our date stood up and went and woohooed with somebody else. So that gave me a, like some heart palpitations. I was worried. Jason. Oh, see, I'm calling him Jason. His name is Joshua. Let's ask him if he wants to come over. Uh, physical oh embrace she's like hey um i've really had a good time this was unexpected but thank you so much for a good night would you like to come over for some coffee and he's like yeah i i would love some coffee 
Oh, but I don't think she should. Oh, lovable rascal. Looks like Robin just befriended a rascal. Rascals are sims that embrace being a nuisance. Oh. <laughs> no. Ugh. They excel in either being incredibly funny or incredibly annoying or both. Whether they opt for mischief, the theft or being downright mean, every sim will know when a rascal is around. No, she does not. She doesn't. Oh my word, see? These are the kinds of people and kinds of guys she just gives chances. Oh, she wants to sit. We're gonna pay for our meal and we'll have him pay us back oh her bobs getting to know each other oh oh it's gone now oh this sim is excited to get to know their new love interest they see potential for a new romance with this sim oh oh he just left though he just left us chatty she's a chatty drunk Hey, Robin is back. She's feeling confident and... Oh, that was weird. I just want to quickly show you her apartment. It's not very big. Uh, but Robin's favorite color is pink. This is her kitchen. And I kind of see her... I kind of see Robin having a pet um, cat. But she goes out so often that I don't know if that'll be a good idea. She has her laundry machine and dryer right there. And in here is her bathroom. Really nice. I don't know. I'm not the best at decorating bathrooms. But she has a tub and a shower. Lucky girl. And this is her bedroom. It's really cute. She's going to take a shower, get ready for bed. Um, I just want to thank everybody. If you've watched until this far, let me know who your favorite character um, out of the friends is. I'm looking forward to hearing who you think is your favorite and also starting the actual gameplay. And I can't wait for all of this and all the drama to unravel. I look forward to it. I hope you choose to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next episode. And if you want to see more of my content, you can also watch my Breaking Away Let's Play. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.